Would you ever have liked to have done a soap, Sue? Or were you ever in a soap? No, I was off at Emmerdale a million years ago, but I'd just had my daughter, and I thought you'd have to move up to Yorkshire. Mm -hmm. I, I think it would be fascinating, but it's a, it's a strange world, isn't it? Because people believe they own you. Yeah. They, they do, it, and, and the like schedule, for me, the, it's the hardest thing I've ever done out of the concerts, the music, the theatre, the schedule that was on EastEnders, like 22 scenes a day, and they'd say it's yes. five days a week, and really it was six. six yes. and, and they'd say it's a 12-hour hour day, and it'd end up being a 15 or or 17 hour day sometimes. Yeah. It's just bonkers. So what do you think? Well, that, I mean, so Danny Dyer fast, obviously has been in the papers because he's taken time off with stress and saying yeah. he finds that I schedule hard. Do you understand, understand that? Well, y yes, but I mean, I, I was never quite in that. Situation. I mean, Barry either had a lovely storyline or he didn't. I was popular because the storylines I got were funny. Yeah. But I have seen what, what, mm. what can happen to people who, who are constantly in all day, every day, for mm. the six days, mm. the 12 hours, as you yeah. were saying, yeah. which did happen to people like yourself and Ross Kemp. Especially if like you're Steve. in the Vic, in the pub, because you're always there, always even when you're yeah. not needed. Yeah, when you're the behind background. the bar, if you're the barmaid of the Vic, you're in the back of every yeah. shot as well. So yeah. you understand, I understand the pressure he's under, and, and I just hope he can sort it out. Good luck mm. to him.